Amen. So, Bible says, I will be there in my name, I will be there in their midst. Amen. Amen. So, wherever there is believers, that is the house of the Lord. Amen. And we appreciate our mother for giving us this opportunity. Amen. They don't want anything to do with their houses. Amen. Amen. They don't even want Christ in their house. Amen. Amen. But uh, Brother Branham teaches us that uh, you take Christ out of your house, then uh, you invite problems. Amen. 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 You take him out of your schools, then you invite problems. Yes. And that's why we are having so many problems today. It's because of people took the Bible out and they took the name Jesus out of their yes. house. Amen. And uh, wherever you invite him, he comes. So we believe he's here today with us. Amen. 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 And then I thank you so much uh, for the family as well. God bless you, man. We appreciate you. Amen. 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 And then uh, even you two brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming to service tonight. So let's read in the book of uh, Exodus chapter 32. I thought it was our mother's birthday when I saw the <laughs> So, and then I didn't know what to say anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, every day should be a birthday. Yeah. 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 We don't buy cakes, we only want birthdays. Yes. Uh, except that they do, we used to buy, uh, 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 we used to eat uh, like a rice, that's on last. Mm. Uh, eat rice only on Sunday, for example. Mm. You saw that it was, it was a Sunday course. Yeah. But uh, rice can be eaten every day. Amen. And they can believe they used to even eat it on Christmas. Yes. So we should not be eating cakes on once a year because right. of it's on once a day. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, Exodus 32. Uh, let's read from. Uh, okay, we read uh, this one and then we jump to verse 7. And when the people saw uh, that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us God, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the men, of the men that brought us uh, out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. Amen. 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 And then uh, let's go here to verse 7. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go and get thee down, for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf or calf and have worshipped it and <coughs> sacrificed uh, thereunto and said, This be thy God, O Israel, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have been, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. From now, therefore, let me let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make thee a great nation. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, O most precious God, we come before thee once again this evening. Uh, under this call that you are to come and worship, even in the house of our rainy dear Lord God. Father, you know the day you come from before the foundation of the world. Yes, Lord. And I believe that Lord, you prepared a message to be heard by your people today. Yes. And also, you prepare people to hear this message coming. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, it's my prayer that we will go from chair to chair and Lord in the house as well. Yes. And speak to your children and as according to their ways. Amen. Amen. But dear God, in the beginning, you have created men that you have fellowship with him. Yes. To speak to him, Lord. So may you come today with these people that you have created to have fellowship with him, Lord. May you answer all their questions. May you yes. help them, Lord. I pray that reveal everything that is in their hearts and speak to them, Lord. That when they live here, it will not be a waste of time, but Lord, a worth a while time being here. So I pray, Lord, bless us in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Take the comfort of your seat. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we appreciate the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then uh, God, God is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then uh, I want us to continue reading uh, here. Uh, out of the scripture. Amen. And then the verse 11 says, And Moses besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why do I, why do I direct wax cold against thy people, which thou hast brought out, brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out? to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Mm. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servant, to whom thou sowest by thine own self and said unto them, I multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and all the land that I have spoken of will I give unto thee unto your seed, and they shall be inherited forever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord repented of the evil which he had thought to do unto his people. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So we are happy to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then uh, I want to talk about a small subject here, but Moses. Hallelujah. So the word part, Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, Normally, when things go the other direction, and then I say I'm talking something, I'm saying something to you, uh, and then the uh, conversation continues on. But when I add the word but, mm -hmm. it means I'm actually turning yeah. back to something else. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can say that it was drowning but. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that he drowned. Yeah. So he was in a process of <coughs> but Amen. Uh, uh, Luvuyo or Jones came and take, took him out of the water. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here we are talking about part Moses as well. Mm -hmm. So it means that there is something that was going another direction. Amen. Um, Amen. And then as it was going and it was continuing like that, then something got into the way. Mm -hmm. And then it changed course. Yeah. So from the way that it was, if it was judgment, there was judgment going that direction. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. But there was something that came up, mm. and then something changed. Amen. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So the word but actually is a statement that cancels the other way, or the other statement before it. Amen. Or is a statement that changes course. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we are not teaching English, but uh, I just want to talk about Moses here. Amen. So when we read here, we realize that the people of God, they did something against God. Amen. Now, you take it from the beginning, God gave them a promise. And then I hope I'm not forgetting anything, right? Mm. Okay, yeah. You are welcome, all of you. Mm. It's like we are, we are, we are, we are just uh, staring. So, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, yeah, so I'm quite nervous. Where I am. Okay, so now uh, uh, these people, God has spoken to Abraham before 400 years before they can even be there. Hallelujah. He told Abraham that no, I gave you a seed a promise. They will sojourn in a strange land. Amen. Amen. And then from there, I will come and take them out in, with a mighty hand Amen. and take them to the land of promise. Amen. Amen. Or to the land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. the promise was not made unto them, yeah. but it was made for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Before they were even there, already God has declared that he's taking them to another place. Amen. And in this place is... And it's flowing with milk and honey. It's a goodly land. Amen. Amen. The land is so fertile and all of that around it. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we realize that Abraham received the promise and God saw by himself that he will take them there. It was what he was telling Abraham. Amen. Before even Abraham had Isaac. Yes. And when Isaac came, the same promise Abraham was telling it to Isaac that God will take my seed and take it into another land. Amen. Amen. So you can imagine for all those generations until you get to Israel, they were talking about the children of God that they will go into the promised land yet before they were even born. Amen. Amen. So when they were in Egypt, already they had a destination which was the promised land. Amen. Amen. You can imagine how easy it was. I mean, if I was promised 150,000 by the end of this year, I will be so happy. Amen. You know, I won't even complain. Even if you, I can go hungry, I will still be happy because I know 
And uh, the person that promised me, I'll make sure that I don't even mess with him. Yeah. Because of yeah. her adventure. Yeah. He can just tell and say, no, you know what, I'm not only giving it to you. Yeah. So whatever he says, do, I will do it. Amen. Amen. Because of, I want this man. So yeah. these people, they found themselves in the slavery. To an extent that they were praying and praying. Amen. But there was no deliverance until the time that God has promised has come. Amen. Amen. And when the time came, God sent Moses. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we realize them rejecting Moses. The very solution that they were praying for and waiting for. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then now you can imagine. They know that the promise is there. And now according to the promise, we have to be going out. Amen. Amen. And then that's why now Abraham and them, they started to pray calling the God of their fathers. That no, come and help us. You are in slavery in all days. And when the answer came, the people know for God that no, we have to now go to the promised land. They even turned against the very same person who was coming to take them out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But yet, being that Moses was sent of God, he kept on going like that, and then he took them out. They saw the mighty hand of God. They saw God doing great things. Amen. Turning a rod into a a snake, hallelujah, and then again turning it back into a rot again. They saw Moses taking the head in and it became a full leprosy. Yeah. And the great wonders of God happening before them. Yeah. They yeah. saw Egypt turning black. Mm. Mm. All over Egypt, it was pitch black, amen. They amen. saw all the judgments of God. They saw the flies that God has sent to Egypt, amen. spoken by Moses. They saw water turned into blood. Yeah. All those great deeds and wonders to prove that God has come to take them out. Yes. They saw great signs and wonders. Yeah. And they saw the Egyptian children dying. Mm. That night, after that, God has told them to apply uh, the blood of the lamb. Amen. Yes. Yes. But yet, they were against Moses. Yes. After they've seen all these things happening around them. The Bible still says they are stiff-necked people. Yeah. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm. Ungrateful people. Mm. They just want everything, but they can't even give back. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm. So then Moses took them out. They were hating that now we are leaving this place. And then they went all the way to the Red Sea. When they got there, instead of thinking about the promises of God, that but God took us, is taking us to a land that is far greater than this one. Amen. Then they are complaining to Moses. Yeah. Yeah. You brought us here to kill us in, uh, in the de desert. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then now they said, no, take us back. It were better. If we were in Egypt, amen. amen. How bad is it that you can even think about the garlic of uh, Egypt? Yeah. I mean, uh, I've eaten garlic and that thing is not nice. It smells so bad. <laughs> and, and the smell doesn't go away for a day or so. Yeah. After that, you have eat. But now you still want to go back and you are going to the land that is flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. So that was the nature of the people that God was taking out. Yeah. But the prophet tells us that it was a, a mixed multitude. Yeah. So it means in there, there were the children of God and others were not. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But God was taking them out anyhow. Amen. And then and now they got the race, God is prayed, and then the race opened now. They saw another great deed, they've never seen it before. And the Bible said when they crossed over, they shouted for joy. Miriam, just by inspiration, took a, a, a timbrel and then they were singing, they sang a new song, amen. amen. Because they were rejoicing that our enemies that we have seen down, they are no longer there. Amen. And I think there was a song about God, you know, drowning the enemy. Yeah. And all of that, they were happy. Amen. And all of a sudden, right two days, three days later, they are now in a bitter water. Mm. And now they are crying again. It was bad. <coughs> If we're in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So whenever they get then encounter a problem, then they are crying. So now it, they kept on crying like that until now they got to this place where uh, Moses now had gone to speak to the Lord in the mountain there. And then uh, he took long. Uh, I don't know. He took long, but he was there, right? Amen. Then they said, no, we do not know what begotten of him. Maybe he just went and he's never coming back. Mm -hmm. Bless, but the promise was, I'm taking them to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Amen. So right. that land was not flowing with milk and honey, it was the desert. Yeah. Yeah. It was the desert, amen. amen. So instead of them hoping and praying that, Lord, this man came and took us out. And then this man even opened the Red Sea, please call in here to take us to that land. Yeah. The people complain, amen. amen. And now they get to this point. I think at some point even Moses uh, just uh, got tired of them. Mm -hmm. But somehow, because of he had to continue with the journey, and now he got to this point in Exodus 32, amen. Hallelujah. When now uh, Moses went for so long, he delayed. <coughs> and then they began to say, no, you know what, make us God. 
that you can go back. Mm. Yeah. The nature of the people. Mm. Stiff necked. They don't even want to see anything. I mean, God send us a prophet, send us back. God send us the field of fire, send us back. God send us a revelation of the word, send us back. When a problem comes, you always want to go back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then we continue on, and then God heals your family, God heals you, God gives you the Holy Ghost, He gives you a better life. He's doing things for you, you still want to go back. The type of a sick man and people. Yeah. And uncircumcised of heart. Amen. Amen. But we should not be like that. Yeah. Whenever God does something for you or for your brother, Brother Brennan says God cannot do something for, for another one and not do it for you. Yeah. Amen. If he's blessing me, it means he can bless you. Amen. Amen. And then all of us, I mean, he brought us to this weight. That uh, you don't even have to do anything about it. Amen. Amen. Yes, we thank God for that. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Of course, God sent us a prophet. And then that was the promise that God has given. Amen. Amen. In the, when, when God was sending Moses to the children of Israel, that was a prophet. And it was so that they can be now back into the will of God. Yeah. Remember, without a prophet, you cannot serve God correctly. Amen. Without Moses, they could not serve God correctly. Amen. Are we together? Amen. They kept on doing their own thing, serving the gods of the Egyptians. Amen. Mm. Call, calling them God. You can see here with the earrings. The earrings was something that was done in Egypt. Yeah. So now here they are saying, no, make us God. Where did they get the idea of God? Because Abraham knows nothing about God. Amen. After yes. that he had made the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Isaac and, 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 and uh, even Joseph himself doesn't know nothing about God. But here the people now, they, are, they want God now to go back. Mm. So it was things that was done in Egypt. Mm. Blessed be the name of the yeah. Lord. Amen. And God sent us that prophet. Now today we have a prophet in our day. To serve God correctly. And he came to bring us back to the word of God. Amen. Amen. To come and see the word of God in reality as it was. Hallelujah. It means whichever promise that you hang yourself on, it is positive before God. Mm, yeah. Because of his send that to vindicate it, to destroy you back Hallelujah. to the Bible. Amen. Amen. Back to the Pentecostal worship. Amen. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And we are in the same exodus today. Mm. Whereby now we are moving out of this world yeah. into something else. Amen. Yes. Amen. Out of time into eternity. Amen. Yeah. Imagine now you won't be having to be controlled by the time uh, effect. Mm -hmm. So whether it's night or day, in that side there is no night or day. Yeah. It is all day. Amen. Oh, yeah. In that side you don't repent, I mean, uh, uh, depend on load shading or as well. Yeah. Yeah. To give you a feedback on when it's going to happen. Amen. Mm -hmm. The lamp will be the light of that Hallelujah. city. Amen. It won't just be any sunlight, whatever light. It will be a person, a human being himself, God himself. Yeah. The light of that city. Amen. Amen. And then there won't be no night, no day. Don't have to, to lock gates, do nothing. Mm. Yeah. How nice is that place? There's place of God. Amen. 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 And then you are walking there, you are there. The Bible says that, uh, you know, the cows will be feeding with the, uh, 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 with the lion. Amen. Yeah. They'll all be there. It will be the millennium of God. Yes. We won't have to cook that side. There won't be pork, there won't be oil, there won't be anything. How amen. great it will be, amen. amen. There won't be no sickness. So here we are seeing, we get all these things, but in that land where we are going, it is so great, greater than milk and honey. Hallelujah. But yet we want to go back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. This is the type of these people, hallelujah. Whenever God does a great thing, then we see great things, hallelujah. Then all of a sudden, Brahman said, God allows, after that he had done a great things, maybe he healed the sick, maybe he raised the dead, maybe, you know what, he did a great miracle before thee. He said, in that week, he allowed the devil to come in. Yes. But when the devil comes in, now we forget the promise. Yes. We forget that the Lord said, you are healed by his stripes. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And now you come back, you are complaining again, now, now, that pain, that pain, that pain, that pain. Now, it's as if things are delaying. Amen. Yeah. They say that when God said, I will give it unto thee, he didn't tell you when. Mm -hmm. yes. So it means you have to wait for him. Amen. Yeah. Another brother was saying that uh, when, I mean, uh, you are asking God in this main street here, when uh, the, the receiving street, then uh, the next thing now, because of his taking long, you move from that receiving street to complaining street somewhere. Yes. Then uh, when that parcel is coming, because remember, you're asking God, he has to go and take it for you. Yeah. He has to, already before you ask, he has answered. Yeah. So it means the thing is coming. Yeah. But God is still taking it, the way that he's taking it, yeah. and then he's sending it out. Yeah. So Korea takes about two, three days, even five. Amen. 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 But when you're waiting there, then all of a sudden you're not getting it. Yes. Then what are you doing now? You're moving. Amen. And then as you move, then the promise comes. 
And then he's there, no one to get it. Amen. Yeah. So we need to wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. And these people had to wait upon the Lord. Yes. Simple like that. Amen. Whenever you ask God anything, the word of God is positive. He said, Amen. and I shall give it unto thee. Amen. And you, are we making God a liar now? No. Whatever you ask, God will do it. Amen. Whatever he, you are asking him, he will do it. Amen. Amen. But yet we move away from it. But Abraham said, once you pray, you don't have to give it back to God. Yeah. Time and sight has got nothing to do with it. Yes. So whether you are getting old or not, Abraham uh, did not consider his body though dead. Yes. Neither the deadness of Sarah's body. But he, 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 he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Yes. But was constantly giving praise yes. and waiting for the promise. Ah, and after yes. 25 years... We realize that Abraham waited until it was 25 years. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, and Jara, Sarah judged him faithful who had promised. Amen. Yes. That's why you can wait for him. Amen. Yes. Amen. But yet these people all of a sudden, Moses leaves them for two seconds. Mm -hmm. And then they say, no, he's delaying. Mm -hmm. But this person is taking them to the place. They don't know that place. Mm -hmm. He's taking, and he's already on the journey. God has proved himself mightily so before yeah. them. He turned bitter waters into sweet waters. Imagine. Yeah. He gave yeah. them food. He gave them quails. He gave them a manna from heaven. Angels yeah. food. Yeah. Amen. He supplied all their needs. They were sick all the way. But yet, God was healing them. Amen. Yeah. Even the serpents that were hitting them. God provided something for their healing. Amen. But yet, they mama before God. Yeah. They say, no, this Moses, we don't know. He's delayed. His delay, make us God. Let us go back. Mm. And then we go back to those things, the gods of our previous times. Amen. And then some of them is lies. Yeah. Mm. Because of God is delay. Mm. Now we have to lie. Because of God is delay, now we have to steal. Mm. God is delaying now, we have to be unfaithful. Mm. God is delaying now, we have to do all these funny things. Amen. Mm. We have to bring them TVs up. Because God is delaying. Mm. We don't know what we yes, fell of him. The rapture is not taking place. It's now 2022. Yeah. We are not seeing it happening. Amen. Mm. So now people are getting wary of saving God. Amen. Yeah. Mm. And they come with all sorts of reasons okay. why they should not save the Lord. Amen. They don't even hear nothing. Mm. But Abraham, until they come to church, uh, if you preach for 30 minutes, because you are supposed to preach for 20 minutes, they call the deacons for you. Yeah. <laughs> people don't want it anymore. Amen. Prophet said, time is, is fading out. Hallelujah. We are at the end of time. Amen. If, if you think there is time, I don't know what you are thinking. There is yeah. no longer time. You can see all of a sudden it was January. Or it was 2020 even for that matter. Yes. But now we are here. We, we lost a year. We don't know what happened in that year. Amen. All of us, if your children ask you what happened in 2020, you, you will not have a record. Yeah. I was just at home and uh, sitting and eating. And exactly. That's all. We lost a year that simple. We lost another year. Now it's 2020. We lost it still. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So time is running out. <coughs> Abraham said home life is running out. Yeah. Family is running out. Amen. Even friendship is running out. Amen. Yes. He says it used to be that people, when someone is sick in the neighborhood, they will go and help them. Amen. Yeah. They will go out there and offer whatever they can do. If it's cutting wood, they will go do it. But today when you are sick, oh, no, it's fine. Mm. As long as they are happy. Yes. Up until said now, they will see that their neighbor is dead on a newspaper. Yes. Amen. Amen. That no, the neighbor is dead. Is then that now you want to go to the neighbor? Yes. But all of a sudden, the neighbor, friendship is dying. Yeah. It's at the end. We mm. don't have, have friends that we had before, mm. and the friends are not people that you can rely on these days yeah. because of they can backstab you. They can do things. Amen. Mm. Blessed Amen. be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So everything is running out. Yes. We are at the end time. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But what is what is it that God is requiring today? There is so many things that God is requiring. And some of it, Brahm says, we are living million miles under our privileges. Yeah. So if you calculate what is million miles, I'll, I'll just give you a short amen. Uh, maybe a short description. If you have been to Cape Town from here, how many hours do you take? And how many kilometers? Maybe 1.6, right? Yeah. Yes, it's a whole day. So now you have not even reached 10,000 kilometers. Yeah. You are here in Cape Town. It's very far. Then you go to America and say 15,000 kilometers. Mm. You have not even reached a million miles. Yeah. You are still far. So that's how far the church <coughs> is today. Amen. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we need to come up. And part of it is we need to keep adding to our faith. We need to keep adding things Hallelujah. to ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So that is my message today, but to Moses, amen. amen. We want to consider this thing. There's a lot of things, amen. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given unto you. That is amen. a free place to the church. Amen. Are we using it? How many times do we use that scripture? Ask anything in my name and it shall be given unto you. Yes. If you say unto this mountain, do you have mountains today? Yes. How many mountains do you have? But you rather complain and just go call Brother Vuyo or Brother Jones to pray for you. The Bible never said, ask for Vuyo. Yeah. He said, if you have, if you should say unto this mountain, move. Yeah. You, sister, brother, whoever, whosoever will say unto that mountain. That is a privilege that God has given to the church. Wow. They will receive that. So we are million miles away from our privileges. Mm. Because of who would rather uh, 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 get other means around. Yeah. Why don't you try God one time? And just believe it and stay there. Amen. And even when he's delaying, believe that he has done it. Amen. Amen. Because of many times we ask and God is sending things according to that scripture. And then we say, Lord, you said we should ask and we'll receive. We are asking, but uh, now it's not coming. So we are moving on to, another, to the next thing. Amen. Amen. God doesn't want us to be like that. Amen. So this is some of the privileges. Amen. And if there's any sick amongst ourselves, we've got a privilege. Amen. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That is a privilege. Are we using it? Amen. When you are sick, are you calling for brothers just to lay hands on you or a sister to lay hands on you? Even a sister can lay hands on you. Amen. Amen. The Bible never said man. Yes. Yeah. He said they shall lay hands on you. Amen. Yeah. It's just a way. Mm. And there's only one in the book of James that uh, they shall call the elders of the church. Yes. And then uh, they will anoint them. How many times do we do that? Elder, I'm sick. Please uh, put uh, oil on me and I'll be healed. We don't do that. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And now there's this other promise now, which that one we don't even use. Uh, in Matthew 18, uh, it says that 90. It says, if two agree as touching anything on earth and ask, it shall be given unto them. How many times did we agree? Amen. You just call a sister friend, my friend. I want us to agree. Yeah. Here is a privilege. I want this thing. I want us to agree. Let us agree on this man. Then you agree and see what the Lord can do for you. Yes. Amen. 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 So we are living a million miles away from our privileges. But today we are talking about but Moses. Uh, in closing, I guess. We are not going to go long. Uh, we want to read the scriptures. Here. All right. Uh, no, uh, sorry, the quotation. It's something that uh, you can't depend upon. As good as a brother and sister, my church and everything, good as other churches are, uh, and brethren everywhere. So you cannot depend on the church for anything. Mm -hmm. And God never made us to depend on the church for anything. Hallelujah. Except in the necessities that come from the church. Yeah. But when it comes to your personal life, and to receive him from God. God never placed it upon a church. Mm -hmm. He placed it upon you, whosoever will. Amen. 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 And so, even today, I mean, a uh, COVID-19 showed us that uh, you can't even rely on any brother yes. or any sister. Yes. So, you needed to rely on something. And I can't keep away from the church out there. Somebody say, well, why do you go out with them people? He's talking about something. And then we just want to jump. And then, uh, yeah. Them Tutarians, uh, Trinitarians, all this, that, and the other, oneness, and Jesus' name, and all these other things there. Why you mix up with them at all? They are mine. That is not what I'm answering. They are mine. No matter what they've done, they are mine. Mm. They are my pulpit. Amen. Hallelujah. So here, Brother Brenham now is bringing another picture. The very people that we condemn so many times. Yeah. The very people that we think that maybe they are nothing. Amen. Mm. But he says they are mine, they are my pulpit. Mm. As long as there's a human being that God has uh, sent you to them, or has made you to be in contact with them, they are your people. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Somewhere he shows that uh, uh, part of the Holy Ghost coming into you, it was God back into you by the Holy Ghost to continue with his plan of redemption. And part of it was to give you a part with your brothers and sisters, the Lord soul to bring them back to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, the same as Moses, it was to bring the people of God back to the land. Amen. Amen. And when Israel had done evil, now this is Israel now, when Israel had done so evil, until God even told Moses, said, separate yourself, 
I will start a new tribe with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So imagine God was so angry with these people until that uh, he said, you know what, Moses, just separate yourself. Yes. I'm tired of this nation. Amen. Just separate yourself. I will start a new tribe with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Many times things happen like that. Think about how many times you did wrong and that God uh, could have just taken you out. Yeah. And God can still do it today. He can wipe you out immediately. Yeah. Up until no one will even find you. Amen. Amen. He can just open the earth and then it swallows you. Mm -hmm. Or it will drown in the water and you go. Yeah. Amen. That is God. Nothing is impossible with him. Hallelujah. Amen. But here, yeah, these people, they have constantly uh, angered God. Until that his, his anger was, was, was kindled hot. Imagine the anger of God was so hot. The red and nothing could stop him when he's angry. He didn't want anything. He will kill you. Amen. Amen. That was God angry. But yet, I mean, okay, so fine. When Adam had done wrong, God, instead of killing him, he provided something. Amen. Amen. But this time here, yeah, God is not providing anything for anyone. He says, separate yourself. I'm going to destroy this nation. Amen. And start a new nation with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Brother said, and God was angry as angry could be. Or rather, Israel was so wrong as wrong could be. They were so wrong until God gave them up. Amen. Hallelujah. That was Israel. So wrong until God gave them up. The very people that God created in his own image. And he was so happy to even take them into the promised land. And even destroy Pharaoh for their sake. But yet here, there was no mess with God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And here, Brother Branham says, Moses threw himself in the way and said, Before you take them, take me. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying about Moses. Yeah. When judgment was lacking, mm. God was so angry as anger can be. Mm. God hears wrong. If it was belching, you can imagine him being in heaven. With the eyes so red, amen. Eyes blazing fire. Mm. With his feet like brass, amen. Mm. The skies, maybe there was lightnings and everything to show that God was angry. Even the whole sky turned red, amen. Mm. Because of that was the fierce anger of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Until nothing could help God. Mm. Because of the people of God, they did something that was not according to the way. They went out of the way, amen. Mm. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can imagine him coming with anger. Mm. After some day he did that in the days of David. Yeah, yeah. yeah they did so. <coughs> and then a God came like that. They saw the angel of the Lord passing with a sword. Mm. It was slaying everyone. And then all Israel, it was killing him. God was killing his own people. Amen. They were just dying like that. And up, uh, up until the, uh, the priest or someone had to offer. And then God stopped his anger. Amen. Amen. That is how dangerous God is when he's angry. Amen. Amen. When he was angry at the Amalekites, what did he do to them? He destroyed them. He can even send, uh, I mean, a hailstone yeah. just for you. Hallelujah. And he can't miss you. Yeah. For that man. He can even Amen. send fire. Somewhere he told Hezekiah that, no, go and see them. I think it's Joshua uh, but Hezekiah. He said, go and stand there and I'll fight for you. The battle is the Lord. Amen. And when he was there, they were just dying. Because of the angels were there just cutting their heads yeah, off like that. Simple. Yeah. You don't see your enemies just cutting you and your time. Mm -hmm. And somewhere he made them to go against one another, to yeah. kill one another. Yeah. So that is the Lord when he's angry. Amen. Mm -hmm. He can just destroy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that is God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when he's angry, you can't do anything to him. He will destroy you. Yeah. But Moses, when God was angry the way that he was angry, even the promise, he could not even think of the promise. Imagine God was angry until that he can't even think of his way. He can't even think that, no, but these people have promised that I will take them to that land. Let me destroy them, hallelujah. Amen. And it happens like that to us. People can do you so wrong until you feel like they need to go to hell, these people. Yes. That is the anger when he's coming. Elijah, they did him wrong up until he called for fire. Upon for the two children, amen. Yes. Imagine now if a man can send fire upon the what, how about God? And God can burn you until you can't even die. You are just burning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But what God was looking for, it was this man Moses to do something, amen. Hallelujah. To stand in the gap. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's what I'm saying about Moses. Yeah. Judgment was coming. People complained. People offered strange things, amen. People rejected God. 
and nothing could help them, hallelujah. Amen. Even the priest himself, he did the same things, hallelujah. Mm. They were wrong as wrong can be. All complained and murmured. They all sinned, hallelujah. Yes. But Moses. Mm. But Moses. And God gave them up. Judgment was coming upon them. And God was just going to destroy them. Blessed be the name of hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. So these people were constantly and then uh, consistently and then uh, continuously and then uh, we uh, uh, just instantaneously, simultaneously angering God. You can imagine constantly. You are just doing this thing and you are consistent with it and constant. Simultaneous. Look what they do it all together. Yeah. That, that's how bad they were. Amen. Amen. Instantly, what they don't even think twice. Just one delay. No, take us back. But there was a man called Moses. Amen. And uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's read it here. But normally we disfellowship one another. Ah, that's another. Ah, he did this wrong. Why don't you take the place of Moses? Yeah. And today, what God wants to see, or what the world is dying to see, but Abraham says, a little love. The world is dying a little love. Mm -hmm. Just to show a little love to someone, to a sinner, you just show a little love. Amen. That it takes God to do that. Amen. Amen. But God must be in you. And once God is in you, there must be demonstration of the same little love. Amen. Amen. When Adam sinned, God showed a little love to Adam. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. When you sinned, God showed love to you. Amen. He loved you when you were unlovable. Even when yet you were a sinner, Amen. yet God loved you. Amen. He Amen. never forsaken you. Amen. You could have just uh, taken off his oxygen. Amen. And then uh, you pay for it. Amen. But God... Showing a little love to the sinner. Mm -hmm. And that goes a little why. It goes further, amen. And that's what the people are looking for today. This world, love has disappeared. Amen. There's no longer love. People are lovers of themselves. Yeah. And Christians as well are lovers of themselves, yeah. amen. They would rather leave you dying. It's Christians today, hallelujah. Yeah. It's people who have, are supposed to be showing the character of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But yet they are failing. And somewhere it was said that says we will see Jesus. Mm -hmm. And even today we must see Jesus because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, yeah. A little love goes a little way. Amen. Amen. It can make a sinner to turn to the Lord because of little love. Amen. There was a man called Bart. I think you know Bart. Mm -hmm. Bart was hunting with the prophet. And then he was a, 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 a ruthless man. Mm -hmm. He was a, he didn't even care. He, his heart was just bad. Stiff neck or heart. He didn't even want to hear anything. He was just shooting everything. Everything. You, you are a chicken hearted telling uh, the preacher of God, Amen. Yeah. You are nothing. You are nothing. You, let me shoot these things. Yeah. But yet a little while. But Abraham never disfellowshipped himself. Yeah. He said he was the best hunter mm. to go with. Mm. Even though he was not believing. But yet he was a great hunter. Then Brabrenham kept going with them. And I was told that the other time, uh, Brother Brenham went to a, a house of another a man. They said, no, that man, I don't know. Uh, did they get from you or someone? Mm -hmm. I heard it somewhere. So he went to this house because of that man. They said, no, hey, that man doesn't care. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to talk to preachers or hear preachers. Mm -hmm. He hates them so much. Mm -hmm. So Brother Brenham just decided to go to his house. They said, no, but why are you going to that yeah. house? Amen. And he said, he went and asked for a little water. He just, yeah. was it you who said it? Yeah. Amen. You hear that the second time is fine. Yeah. And he asked for water. Amen. Nice. So that this man can be, because of he gave a water to a disciple in the name of a disciple. Yeah. Yeah. He can be saved from the rest of God. Yeah. A little love goes a long way. Yeah. And God is looking to see that little love displayed by a believer. Yeah. And that's what matters. Amen. Amen. It is not how much money you give people, but it's the Amen. little love yeah. that you reflect yeah. towards someone that has wronged you. Amen. Amen. But Moses, where are Moses today? Where is people that can stand in the gap and say, No, Lord, I know these people deserve this, but I will stand in their gap. Amen. Amen. They have done wrong. They crossed your way. They have constantly done it. And then I've been telling them, but they have done it anyhow. But Lord, they are my people. Amen. And God is waiting for that little character of Christ to be displayed. Amen. When the Pharisees was there hitting Christ like never before, yeah. hating him, but he never even told them that uh, you, your sins won't be forgiven yeah. and, and, unless they ask for it. Amen. But he always tell them, Lord, I forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Amen. And a little love goes a long way. Amen. Amen. The adventure, the Lord can save them. And that is the long suffering of the Lord. Mm. Not willing that anyone should perish. Amen. But yet he's displaying, he's displaying it in his children. Amen. But yet they are too far from it. Mm. 
Yes. They can't even show a little love. How are they going to forgive the sins of others? He said, no, uh, as your father has forgiven your sins, forgive others. Yes. How many times are we forgiving others? We should not be saying this like the world, no, I will forgive him in heaven, whichever I wish. <laughs> you can't. Amen. It's a lie, amen. Yeah. And these things, they are done right in the church. Amen. Where they are not supposed to be done, yeah. amen. Yeah. You rather just throw food somewhere, but now here, there is people, you know that this sister is suffering. She needs one, two, three, four. But instead of you showing a little love, you are now, you better know I can't. That sister, why should I do that? She thinks she's better. Show a little love. Oh, if Brother Brennan can go to a sinner who even doesn't want to hear him, and yet just to ask for water, because at least well, in the day of judgment, maybe the Lord will be judging this person. Amen. And then it will really come and come and give you water. Yes. You know, a little love. Mm. Yeah. And the world is dying for you. Yeah. The world is, the world is dying. Amen. They want someone that they can talk to. Yeah. That, that's why they are so depressed. But Christians, oh, they are far from it. No man, can I talk to you? Mm. Go to the pastors. Who are you, by the way? Are you a, not a little Messiah? And that's what God wants: little Messiahs, Amen. going and displaying His characteristics amongst the people to show that He's alive, the same yesterday, today, and forever. But it's as if you have hidden a wrong, especially when you come to His church. Ah, someone can go there and die. The only thing that they know is just to chop them. Yes. Just to tell them that your skirt is too high. Yes. They take it down. Mm. They don't even care about souls anymore. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And Brother Abraham said he was in that condition. I'm closing now. He was in that condition whereby he lost the feeling of the people. Yes. He called them Ricky Ricketters. Mm -hmm. Because of their done wrong, amen. He said, no, they were doing wrong. They are not going according to the scriptures. They are fighting against each other. And I've been preaching this message. They are not even believing it. They don't even take it. Amen. Someone said, no, see, it has been 31 years I've been preaching. But they still cut their hair. They still do things. But what must I do? He's been preaching it all the time. But they keep Amen. doing it. Hammering at it. Then he lost the feeling of the people. Yes. And when he did that, he thought that he was right. Uh, let me read your petition. I'm finished. Amen. Amen. Yeah. If I don't find it now, I will read it as a petition. But he said, see, oh, how that a man can do wrong and yet be sincere. Mm -hmm. You are sincere, but yet mm -hmm. you are wrong. Mm -hmm. hey, you think, I know, I've been preaching. They don't hear these people. I've been telling them they're still naked. Hey, take them off. Okay. Is in the message one and two and but in the message one. Who are the greatest battle ever for? Is there? So he said, no. How it shows a you can be wrong, yet being sincere. So that that is many of us today. We are wrong and yet we are sincere. Mm -hmm. But Abraham mm -hmm. said, I would rather have a man who is right in his heart Amen. and wrong in the doctrine. Amen. Than a man who is 100% right like the Pharisees in the doctrine. Yeah. And yet the heart is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How pitiful is that? Mm. But Abraham says here, that's what's the matter with the meetings today. There's not enough spirit touched in them to go for the souls of the lost and dying. Mm -hmm. It's more to make a name or a church. Mm. Or a building or a denomination instead of winning, uh, win a uh, soul winning program. How pitiful! Amen. Mm. It's pitiful that we go to church that to make a name to be seen just for status that I mark the register. Mm. Amen. I've been there every Sunday, even when they ask you, brothers, I was there, you know. Yeah, amen. But what about Jesus? Where is Jesus? Mm. They want to see Jesus. Amen. 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 Imagine if Jesus would have seen you in your sins and things that you even do now. And then uh, you say that you are a Christian. And you still do them. After you are doing them. There is no one who can escape here. Amen. You are not going to go to heaven because when you came to church and then you were doing these things and you even kept yourself. Going to, going to heaven is not whether you kept yourself or not. Yeah. It is the grace of God. Amen. Because of 
the Bible said, Blessed is him whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. Yes. So everyone is doing iniquity everywhere. Every morning when you wake up, there's something wrong that you're going to do yeah. somewhere. But yet, blessed is he. So God had to release grace to upon some people. So that even if they do these things, even John is saying it. That, uh, okay. that uh, you know what, little children, if you sin, yeah. mm, if anyone has sinned, we have an advocate. Amen. But later I say, no, uh, that which is born of God cannot sin. Yes. But why in the beginning say, if you sin? It means there's those little things that uh, the church is doing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah now uh, let's read the quotation. Yeah. Uh, Moses brought uh, himself in the way and said, Before you take them, take me. No matter what they have done, that whom I'm sent to, he sent a, he sent a light and not to shine in the light, where there's light, where there's darkness, and that's where light belongs. Amen. You've got to get with the people. You've got to stand with them regardless. You've got to in their room. So you've got to stand with the people in their room. Jesus Christ stood with us when we were wrong, all of us. Amen. And then if we are not going to stand with the sister there, then it means that actually I'm casting out what Jesus has done for me. Or I am ungrateful of it. Amen. Amen. Even if they are wrong, this is my brother. We are moving on. We are in a journey here. Amen. Amen. We want to get to heaven, all of us. Yeah. But Abraham said, I don't even wish my bitterest sinner to go there. Amen. Or my bitterest enemy. Yeah. So we have to have that character of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. And somewhere God was determined, has determined an evil upon a nation. There mm. was there was a judgment coming. And then the Bible says, and God wondered, where is a man that can stand in the gate? Mm. So where can God send judgment and then still wonder if where is a man? Agri is angry. Why don't he just destroy them? But yet he's, before he can destroy them, he's asking a question. Yeah. But now where is a man just to can stand for this? Yeah. It means God is expecting you and I, even when people are wrong as wrong can be, to still show love to them Amen. and to forgive them so that God can forgive them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. Yeah. They were wrong. Israel was wrong. As wrong could be. They were so wrong till God gave them up. Mm. But Moses, I've always wondered how that ever came. <clears throat> how that ever come but the spirit of Christ in Moses, amen. amen so that was the spirit of Christ in Moses but Abraham says I've ever been wondering how did that ever happen, I mean do you know what, what Moses told God, he said Lord repent of your evil yeah. it yeah. was not a word that no Lord please repent mm -hmm. no he was reprimanding God yeah. that no repent of your evil that you have amen. thought about your people mm -hmm. And then God said, and the Bible said, and the Lord repented himself yeah. of the evil. Yeah. So if, if a man can tell God to repent himself of the evil, why are you not repenting of your evil of not forgiving others? Yes. God forgave them. There, they were angry, they were wrong as wrong can be. Mama and all those things, we know what they've done, right? But yet, when Moses corrected this man here, he never said, I'm God, who's correcting me? Yeah. And Bible says, I've ever wondered, how can a man advise God? When God was angry and said, no, move yourself aside, how can he ever advise God on that? But God's fierce anger turned away because of Moses. Amen. And he says, remember, Lord, Isaac, Abraham, and their servants to whom you swear by their own self, and said to them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and all the land that I have spoken of will, will I give unto your seed. To inherit them. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. Mm -hmm. Moses. But it was the spirit of Christ. Amen. And I believe the spirit of Christ, the spirit of intercession. Yeah. Amen. Whenever someone is wrong, Christ intercedes for them. Amen. Amen. Even if they are the bitter of sinners. I mean, Christ never even cast this as Judas. Mm -hmm. No, he still kept him there. Oh, yes. So Amen. why are you keeping people out of the promise of God? Amen. Moses could have just let them go, brothers, and mm -hmm. say, no, you know, God, I'm tired as well. These people, they nearly killed me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with this nation. Mm -hmm. Take it. But I've ever always wondered how ever that comes. Mm -hmm. 
but it was the spirit of Christ in Moses. See? Hallelujah. We are all wrong. Amen. He stood for all of us yeah. when we was in our wrong. Mm. So if God stood for you when you were in your wrong, yeah. why don't you stand for another brother, yeah. for yeah. another sister when he's in the wrong? Yeah. But you keep hammering at him. Yeah. No, even when he says, I repent. Yeah. No, why are you tempting late? Yeah. For we don't want people to rise up. Yeah. I've had a brother somewhere. Yeah. I'm sorry, Christian brothers. Saying that in their church, once you backslide, and you come out, you come back. Isn't that you backslide, they go for you? Mm -hmm. Then when you come back, now they are asking you, uh, no, what do you want here? Mm -hmm. We came for you, you didn't want to listen to us. Mm -hmm. So go back where you come from. Sure. I don't think the spirit of God is in that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Regardless of what a man or a woman did to you, yeah. if God forgave your sins, mm -hmm. it is up to you now to forgive others, to minister Amen. the same grace yeah. unto God. But sometimes you think we are not wrong. Yeah. Wait until you get to heaven. I like that you don't stand because you read uh, how many times the message. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even the people that are not going to hit you, they are going to be there because of their hearts. Yeah. No matter how wrong they, how wrong they are, mm -hmm. let's not disfellowship or disassociate ourselves with anything. Mm -hmm. That is problem. As long as we can win a soul, Let's go in with wise as serpents, as harmless as doves, see, and try to win every soul that we can. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. That is the only thing that uh, can help us. Amen. 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 And then, uh, yeah. So we just need to be like that. Regardless of what the people did to you, the purpose, yeah, that is that quotation. Then I'm finishing with this one. That's the purpose. The Holy Ghost. That's the purpose of the Holy Ghost. Is the Father again, God the Father dwelling in you, working out His plan to finish His plan of redemption, working through you, making you a co worker with Him, giving you a place, giving you a part of your fallen, lost brothers and sisters, <coughs> giving you His spirit and His love to go hunt the lost as He did in the Garden of Eden. Adam, Adam, where art thou? That's what the Holy Spirit does to a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. When it strikes into his into their heart and takes it out, it's a thirst and a hunger for the lost souls. And I'm not talking about the lost souls outside. Yeah. <laughs> There's lost souls here in the church. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But is the hospital uh, of God's grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with it? With with the meetings today, we have read that one. How beautiful it is that uh, we can't even do it today. But a little love, a persuasion, it goes a long way. Amen. Amen. Here the people were wrong as wrong can be. Yeah. And then that's what God wanted to see. I think it made him so happy that no, this man, even though his congregation is wrong, they never even had his message for that matter. Yeah. But yet he can still stand and say, Lord, take me first. Amen. Blot me out of this book that you put me in yeah. before you can touch this. But they are my people. Amen. Yeah. So that's how we have to be. At home, wherever we are, we must show a little love. Amen. Amen. And that is the sign of Christ. When a believer can show a little love, even to the lost and to the wrong, then I believe something will happen. Amen. Amen. Brother Brennan was there in the church one time. And then the, the children, the boy and a girl, were touching one another, doing a, a majority of things in the church. Amen. Amen. And then uh, the Holy Ghost told him that we can say anything that you want to say. Imagine he was Elijah. Mm. He could do anything. Yeah. But to cut the long story short, mm. he said, I forgive you. Amen. Yeah. And that went a long way. Amen. Yeah. Up until he said the meeting, there was such a holy hush in that meeting. And many souls came to, the, to, to, to Christ. Amen. On that day, mm. because of the Holy Ghost came down. After those words, I forgive you. Amen. And how many times, if you can just say, I forgive you, I believe the same Holy Ghost will come down. Amen. Because of that's what he wants to see, his church coming into, amen. amen. And not to brag and do things. It's not about going to church here. Mm -hmm. The church is finishing as well. Amen. Yeah. Church days are over. Amen. Time is lapsing, amen. The yeah. only thing that now we want is to see Jesus Christ. Amen. And the only way to see Jesus is to see a church showing a little love somewhere. Yeah. And that goes a long way. Someone can be saved. Because of that little love, amen. amen. Or the Holy Ghost can help someone because of that little love. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to see today.
We don't want to see people that are going and confessing and professing and testi testifying and standing at the gate giving you books. Let those books become alive first. Amen. Brother Brown says, preach me a sermon that, uh, I mean, leave me a sermon that to preach one. Amen. So I'm not going to preach and not forgive. It won't work. Yeah. And that's why the people are not coming to church these days. Because of these people that we believe that they are supposed to be helping now, they are turning red or cold as well. Yes. There's no love. There's nothing. Amen. Amen. They can just leave you and die. Yeah. They are happy with that. I don't know. Amen. Amen. But a little love goes a long way. Yeah. Show some love. Show yeah. me some love. If I'm wrong, show me some. And that is the best way to correct someone, by Hallelujah. the way. Mm. Rebuke is not correction. Mm. Yeah. Rebuke is condemnation. Amen. Mm. But correction is love. Mm. And when you do that, you are showing someone the way. No, it's not what is one plus one is not three. Mm. It's two. You don't need fighting. No. Uh-uh. No. Look, one plus one, one plus one. That is correction. And that's what the world is waiting for. Mm. To see, but oh, mama, everyone of us showing a little love. You'll know that Christ is here. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, but Moses. Amen. So can it be but oh, but someone else? Amen. That in the days of judgment, Amen. it will be ours, my soul was dying. Amen. But oh, can you sing Mercy wrote our lives? And then I'm done with it. Mercy.